Assalamu alaikum everyone. I am Tawhidul Islam from Islamic University of Technology, Gajipur, Dhaka, Bangladesh. I am from Tripoli Batch 19. In the last video, uh, our lab teacher, Mr. Nadi Mohamed, explained the project that is SAP1 architecture based 8 bit computer design and its implementation. He, he explained all the things how we need, how we have to make this project how this will th this how all of this will work he introduced us with t states fetch cycle every component execution cycle and the instruction set and its opcode okay now let's begin the project the name of my team was three bits i along with my two team member abu naman and nafabi chalkar build this our uh, we haven't used any ic in the project on the only ic we have used that is triple five timer ic in the clock we have built every component from the very scratch level using the basic and or not xor or not get and another thing we have implemented that uh, we have reduced the t states we have we are able to reduce two t states so that means in our project the state is four uh, and another thing we do, we built a 8-bit binary to 3-bit BCD display and we are able to show the in some operation if there is a bigger number, small number minus bigger number, there will be a minus sign. So we are also able to show that. So I will try to explain all of the things in our next few videos. So let's start with the memory address register or MR. In memory address register there are four d flip flop we have used uh it's actually a four d flip flop is a register in this d flip flop there are three inputs that m i d clock i uh, you know about d flip flop i guess d flip flop we have connected this d with this a uh, d flip flop data will come and there's a clock signal it will sh it is sorted with these two non gate and the output of this flip flip flop we have Use a tri state buffer with MI. You can also use a AND gate uh, instead of using tri state buffer. So there will be output. When MI is enabled, the output will come. If the, any of these D or clock is uh, uh, not enabled, output will not come. So we uh, all of our, uh, and let me tell you, on of all of our register are same. And there is a sub circuit we named it D flip flop 0, D flip flop 1, D flip flop 2, D flip flop 3. All the, all the components in this 1, 2, 3 are all the same if you just show it. And there are four inputs M0, M1, M2, M3. And we have connected the clock, we have sorted the clock with every D flip flop. And there will be four output M0, M1, M2, M3. M and we have connected the MI shorted with a 1, 2, 3. So there will be one uh, 6 input from the instruction cycle. Clock signal will come from the clock. And MI instruction will come from the controller sequence. And this 4, 4 bit will come from the LSB of 8 bit bus. We have connected 0 with MA0. Connected 1 with 1, 2 with 2, 3 and 3 output of MAR will directly connect it to the address selector so in the next video we'll try to explain the address selector